Hi fellows! Welcome to this video about Odyssey version 2. Yes, we released the version 2 just 6 months after releasing the version 1. First of all, don't panic. If you have already ordered a license, you won't have to pay anything. Each major upgrade of Odyssey is based on a new major upgrade of Unreal Engine. Odyssey 1 was based on Unreal Engine 5.3, so Odyssey 2 is based on Unreal Engine 5.4. To download the upgrade, all you have to do is to open Praxinos Launcher, which will display a new icon to download Odyssey 2. No code or account to login, just a few clicks to install the newest version on your computer and you're done. But what's new in Odyssey 2, you may ask? According to our GitHub, there are 60 closed tickets, but let's focus on the most important improvements and let me explain them. This feature was voted as the most useful on LinkedIn, so we developed it. The out of pegs which is also named Shift and Trace in another 2D animation software, is used to move, rotate and rescale your drawing through the light table slash onion skin. This is especially needed when you want to focus on in-betweening a specific movement in a complex animation and make sure you keep the right proportions of the character. The out of pegs will also work in a 3D context on a plane surface, which is really cool. A system to mark images has been added. The image mark depends on the project settings, so as a lead animator or as a production manager, you can define the rules at the earliest stages of the production by using colors and various shapes that comes in outlined or in filled version. That way, everyone will visually know what are the key images and breakdowns for this or that character. Shortcuts, on the other hand, can be chosen by each individual users in the editor preferences. We added a freehand field shape that is really convenient for many artists. This tool can be used to draw random field shapes in a very quick way. Additionally, all shapes can now use subpixels and anti-aliasing for a better and more appealing result. A new feature has been added specifically for the Japanese animation industry in order to allow the paint bucket to take in consideration the lines of a specific color to fill in an area. There is a bunch of tiny improvements that were done in the storyboard module to enhance your experience. Now, camera piloting automatically stops when creating a new shot sequence. Camera piloting automatically switches from shots to shots. There are no more issues when cloning drawings or shots. Old issues that prevented to move the camera when auto key was off has been fixed. and storyboard viewport got improved to control the display of the notes to zoom, pan and rotate the viewport. A new blueprint panel can be found in the Content Brother into the folder 2D Animation. To run it, make a right-click and run it as a widget. This powerful tool will help you to generate a level sequence out of a 2D animation asset. It will also place a camera actor into the persistent level and add a media plate actor that uses the chosen 2D animation. These actors can either be possessable or spawnable. Note that if the animations are used on a static mesh, I advise you to refer to the guide to know how to or to wait for a video tutorial. Mentioning tutorials, you can finally find some on YouTube. Each week we release a new video so you can learn to master Odyssey. The guide also is being updated to include all the new features I have just mentioned. And that's all folks for today! I hope you are excited by these new features, and if you have specific requests or expectations, feel free to drop a message on our Discord server. Don't forget you can also support our work by ordering an ODC license directly on our website. We have different prices and license types for students, schools, studios and freelance artists. We can also provide a demo version that works for 30 days, and if you had already tried Odyssey 1 previously, the demo version is available again to test Odyssey 2. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe the channel. Take care and see you soon! Bye!